CSO representatives met Prime Minister Modi on framework agreement in New Delhi this morning. Deputy Chief Minister Joy Kumar describes Imphal Severage project as a failed project. Minister Jayanta Kumar lays the foundation for Manipur University of Culture at Wakha at Nomai Ching Hotels. MPCC celebrates 132nd Foundation Day of Congress Party. Former Chief Minister Bobby asserts Congress won India's freedom. And a four staff of Revenue Department, including an SDC suspended, Minister Karam Sham warns employees who work against people's interests. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English News. I'm Joyce Rivusham with the top stories and the latest news at this hour. Representatives of civil society organizations of Manipur met Prime Minister Narendra Modi regarding the framework agreement signed between the Centre and NSC and IM this morning in New Delhi. During the 15-minute meeting that commenced at 11.10 this morning, the CSO representatives presented the Prime Minister with a layum fee, a statue of Kangla Shah and submitted a memorandum. They told Narendra Modi that the framework agreement has left the people of the state in utter confusion. They also told the Prime Minister that the people are apprehensive despite the claim by the Prime Minister and other union ministers that the framework agreement will not affect the territorial integrity of Manipur as the details of the agreement is not revealed to the public. The Prime Minister told them that the people of Manipur should have faith in the government of India and not to pay heed to rumours. He asserted that the centre has its door wide open for the people of Manipur and it will discuss anything the people want. The team also maintains that even though the framework agreement does not affect Manipur, people of Manipur will not remain silent if the aftermath of the agreement disrupts the political scenario in the state. Modi urged the team to have faith in the words given by a Prime Minister. The team reminded the Prime Minister of the violent incident of June 18, 2001 and that anything against the interests of the people might lead to a more intense protest than that of 2001. The Prime Minister maintains that no conclusion will be reached without consultation with the concerned and against the interests of the people. He said the centre is focusing on the development of northeastern states. Deputy Chief Minister Yumnam Joy Kumar today described the Imphal Severage project as a failed project. He stated that no further funds will be sanctioned to the department concerned until and unless a detailed report on the project prepared by an ITI or NIT is submitted to the government. The Deputy Chief Minister was speaking at the inaugural function of the 3rd Singju Kumhai at Lamdeng Makalekai Lampak in Lamshang constituency today. Joy Kumar also highlighted the significance of Singju as an integral and indigenous food item since time immemorial and the need to promote and preserve the recipe. Speaking at the event, former Lamshang MLA W. Brajabidu urged the government to inaugurate the solid waste management plant at Lamdeng. The Deputy Chief Minister said that steps will be taken at the earliest after consulting with the concerned authority to commence the plant. Many elderly as well as young people took part in the event. Altogether, 150 Singju and other stalls, including the ones from Assam and Tripura, will be opened at the 10-day festival. Out of the 150 stalls, 10 stalls will be opened exclusively by women of 50 years and above. The Singju festival will also include many other activities like Likon Sanaba, Kunung Isai, Kang, Arambhai, Health Camp, Drawing Competition for Children, Essay Writing Competitions, etc.
Singju ever Sinjak say, Masi, Sanab say, I take a top arm to the tenerty. I quit Saksa Hijanaba, Nato Swap, Kalman Singba, Sida, Yau do Yadra, Machena Muina, Singju, I say, Masi, Yoni. She was projected the Garo Panam Tadare. France came to the guinea pig in a movie, Yabri, when a movie in the Sino Ponativa. World, anywhere that. Of these serious projects, my own money puga, in part of the plant, or come to Tobuli Tibu. Come up by name, or what they made the put some sound for me, a sam sam who cannot take up here. I did it in a side pipe, she gets very easy, my elevation ship properly separate satellites, you can't the immunity. RN Culture Minister L. J. N. Takumar today laid the foundation stone for the Manipur University of Culture at Waka in Nongmaiting Foothills in Imphal East. Speaking at the foundation laying ceremony organized by Department of Art and Culture and Manipur University of Culture, Minister J. N. Takumar asserted that the government will try to set up a full-fledged culture university despite the lack of fund in consultation with the Chief Minister and the Union Minister concerned. He maintained that the Art and Culture Department is a small department which is not reflected in the budget. Jente Kumar also appreciated Ketrigao MLA and Indrajit for helping in finding a suitable location for the university. He asserted that all political parties need to work together for the welfare of the people by keeping their differences aside. MLA N. Indrajit said the Manipur University of Culture was established on December 14, 2015 and started functioning in its temporary office in Arts and Culture Department. He said the site for the permanent campus was later selected. Vice Chancellor of Manipur University of Culture, Professor N. Khagendra and Director of Art and Culture Department, Dr. K. Sushila were among those present at the event. I think website of the Kamai together, Manipur, Manipur Cultural University, Wangi, Ibakanda, Lady Makuki Cultural University, same machine, but in Mogun, Asumatically, Yam Kangi Hagi, the Kamai together, half for in country, they give over. She is Jagasi, the Manipur culture, say, Tamnabogi Laki, Ibogo, but Jagari Garava, you know, Jagari T. But Jaga, how did the Wakan can bow with an idea? Nasi, you look young, Tamba than I did. You came Saturday, I knew you. She wanted to be in Makuki, Masaigon, look for the culture. Not no way, but I am the top by am in by am so by but I am philosophical or get over Maclegi, Portugal. Not the nuts in the way of Maclejaga, Mapamba, and I was a quay left with champagne. You can say in MCC, I'm not like the Portuguese again, and a kind of horrors of that. Who is a pipe in the Bible, Sam, the Hajadura, and the game music, a Yaman Shiba Tamojenda, and Hajaratam, Tamojenda, Hara, Rama Yabiatuna, Assembly Gay, we found the Potopi to the culture in MCG, no Maji Jingishi Gold Sarena, Assembly Pro Daibigro. Four staff of Revenue Department, including an SDC, were suspended for violating office rules today. Revenue Minister Karam Sham said they were suspended in line with his declaration that action will be taken against those employees in the department who work against the interests of the people. He placed the detailed information regarding the four suspended employees during a press meet at all the secretariats today. Karam Sham said he received several complaints against improper utilization of land resources in the last nine months. The suspended officers are N. Suran, SDC Imphal West Central, O. Dhanabir, Circle Mandol, SDC Office Imphal West Central, T. H. Ibomcha, Supervisor Kunungo, just recently transferred to look after SDC SDO Office Chandel, and A. Iboton, Supervisor Kunungo, in charge registrar Kunungo, Directorate of Settlement and Land Records. The minister said about Suran and Dhanabir are responsible for wrong entry of a woman as debt instead of a life regarding land property entitlement. While Supervisor Kunungo, T.H. Ibomcha, who was transferred to SDO office Chandel, was suspended for failing to obey the transfer order and for manipulating land records in Karungpat by, Karungpat by giving land patta allotments to individuals at his will. Supervisor Kunungo in charge, Registrar Kunungo at uh, Directorate of Settlement and Land Record Manipur, A. Iboton was suspended after giving away dark chitta of lands in and around the proposed sports university. Karam Sham asserted further actions will be taken against any employees of the department if they work against the law. The minister also appeals to employees of the revenue department to discharge their duties sincerely, keeping in mind the interests of the people.
Meanwhile, as an encouragement, Minister Karam Sham gave cash awards to a staff of Bishnupur SDO office, Ningthaujam Ibo Chauba, for collecting 50,000 rupees as land revenues in just 10 days. He was also recommended for district-level awards to be given on the Republic Day on 26 January 2018. state ki lady ba potri sing manghan na ba adu ko men man da da na di sumaina aran ba thabuk to bujing si koi revenue department na ngapi bam thok ti hai da na khal laga sima ga suspend da re adu na masi lokhat chari ba step sing jata gi na te adi revenue department si manipur miyam gi yam na good image ma lai da adi siran turan yam na tau boi na uri ba potri sing se matung da sum ba thabuk sing se chatha ba ya roi Villagers of Oinam Hill under Purul subdivision of Senapati district accorded a warm welcome to Works Minister Thongam Biswajit during his visit yesterday. The minister attended the inaugural function of the 15th Oinam Hill Youth and Students Organization OHYSO annual tournament come Skylark Decade Celebration 2017. Addressing the gathering at the village football ground, Biswajit announced that the state government will soon repair the shortest route connecting Koide Biso and Thingba Kuno to reach National Highway 2 under a bigger burden before the rainy season. He also announced the development of the only school of the village, which is in a very bad condition after consulting with the education minister. By two minutes, uh, surface treatment of roads in the village, uh, construction of community hall and a gym, development of the primary hospital in the village into a community hospital. An exhibition of earthen pottery, popularly known as Pauli, was also held as part of the program. Nauria Pakanglak by MLA Swebam Subhastandra also attended the program. It may be mentioned that since Operation Bluebird 1987, the village has witnessed no development works. The villagers submitted a memorandum to the minister. The minister also inspected the ongoing construction of National Highway 2 in Faldimapur Road and advised them to expedite the work. <laughs> Fruit singer, to Tongan to one way, agricultural production, second Mahala village, say, Loin Mux, the common and the Hilikanam, Akurikana, Fanganji, Madam, the Prime Minister, and the Sikari Hari, Akuki Palmer sing the double the income of Hilo Havani. Other than a seat, trust Piri, Kari, the Piri, Akuki agriculture sector, the Kana Proboski Mayam, Prozagila, Boki Mayam, Akuki Zandan, a cow, or the Maruena, Akui Joka, Chuki, Pashati, Hunningham Bani, Proza Mayam at the high, Bijapi Komel Akanda. The 132nd Foundation Day of Indian National Congress, the oldest political party of India, was also celebrated in Manipur today. Speaking at the celebration held at Congress Bhavan at BT Road, former Chief Minister Okram Ibobi said, the Indian National Congress led India to independence from the British colonial rule for more than 200 years. He said the role of the Congress Party in India's freedom movement is still remembered by all and as a result, the Congress was in power for so many years in the country. Ibobi said the Congress Party made India a superpower in the world. He mocked the BJP, which has been in power in the country for just 10 years, for claiming that BJP government made India a superpower of the world, brought development in India's economy. Ibobi said the lies of a BJP government are discouraging. The former minister said the Congress party always welcomes any work taken up for the welfare of the society. He asserted that the developments seen in India are the fruit of the works of the Congress leaders. Ibobi said the land does not just belong to those in power. He said all must work together and make changes even if the previous government commit, mis committed mistake. Regarding Manipur, Ibobi said Manipur is for both the hills and the valley. He said, it is surprising that the state government is making claims that BJP brought the people of hills and valley closer. Asking when the people of the hills and valley were ever separated, Ibobi maintained that his government forbade any community to disrupt the unity of the people. He also said the most backward community must be uplifted. Ibobi alleged that the BJP-led government is busy inaugurating the developmental works initiated by the Congress government. 
former Deputy Chief Minister Gai Kangam, President of Manipur Pradesh Congress Committee T.N. Haukip, MLAs and many Congress workers attended the celebration. Kanagumba organization Kharana, Kanagumba community Kharana, I am the guy. No, you are not. Single Lamsuma, Tapaki Lamsuma, when you put it in the Yaroy, 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 Congress party got all the other single tongue that he had shook like the gate. Nothing to walk on another tongue with the we all a two minute company. Imphal Municipal Corporation and Watts Development Committee IMC Watts No. 1 organized one-day mass awareness program on Swatch Surveillance at Namthanlong Community Hall, Thangmaiban, today. The event was organized with an objective to raise awareness on Swatch Surveillance among the people of IMC Watts No. 1 to maintain the ward neat and clean in order to contribute in making Imphal City one of the cleanest cities in the country. Speaking at the program, Corporator of Watts No. 1, Gaidon Gangmei, announced cash prizes for clubs and Mayra Pabi organizations in Watts No. 1, which make the locality cleanest one, and said that a Swatch Surveillance Committee for every school and locality in Watts No. 1 will also be formed. Garden said he will be the chairperson of the committee. The 13-day training workshop on micro-enterprises development program organized by NCUI, Women Cooperative Education Project in Fall West, concluded at Kwaketil Nganapitong Community Hall today. The workshop was sponsored by National Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development, NABART, Manipur Regional Office. Master Trainer Sorokai Bemsana said the training workshop was held to ensure that the school uniforms are produced in the state instead of importing from outside. She said as far as for Imphal West District, workshops were held to train 30 trainees each in three training centers at Terra Bazaar, Haubam Marak and Kwaketil Ngana Pitong. She stated that an extra one month free training will be provided to those who cannot acquire the skills of stitching school uniforms during the 13 day training workshop. <coughs> The handing over of charge to newly elected office bearers of Manipur University Students' Union and class representatives was held today at the Office of Students' Welfare, Manipur University. Dean of Students' Welfare, Professor K.H. Tomba, appeals to the newly elected office bearers to maintain the calendar of the university properly. He also urged them to try to resolve any problem in a constructive way. Ex-President Musu Buchi Mayanglembam appeals to the new office bearers to maintain the academic atmosphere on the campus and not to get influenced by any entity outside the university. M. Dayaman is the new president of Musu. <laughs> Office bearers sing, Aduga, University of Sigi, Tuan Ba, Mahiro Singa, Sodramaki, Matin Pangbegin, University of Sigi, Awarpa, Punamak, my partner, Pankok Nongani, Havagi, Hasbadu, Tanzari, Luena, University of Sida, Mangi President, Aduga Mang, Office bearers sing, Tambirami, but about Punama say, Mayangi support Taki Sodina, Rosenba, Nambadu, or Zagan. People have relaxed the ban on the works of National Railway Project in Makhom Kul in Tamenglong District following a talk with uh, Tamenglong MLA Samuel Zendai. They will hold discussion with Chief Minister Nong Thong Bambirin regarding their demands. Now it's time for a small commercial break. And after the break, we'll bring reports on Manipur University hosting the 105th Indian Science Congress in March next year. Keep watching Impact News. Welcome back. You're watching Primetime English News. The 105th Indian Science Congress ISC will be hosted by Manipur University in March next year. The annual event, which is on the Prime Minister's calendar in January, was postponed for the first time in its over 100-year history after Osmania University expressed inability to organize it because of ongoing student protests.
It was learned that security officials anticipated protests by students against Prime Minister Narendra Modi over the issue of Dalits and minorities and Telangana Chief Minister K. Chandrasekhar Rao over lack of government recruitment. The change of venue was decided yesterday at an emergency executive meeting of the Committee of the Indian Science Congress Association. Professor Gangadhar, one of the general secretaries of ISCA, said the association will have to approach the Prime Minister for his availability in March. It will be organized between March 15 and 25. This is the second time the Science Congress will be organized in the Northeast. In 2009, it was held in Shillong. Manipur University was the only one whose claim was backed by a letter of support from the Chief Minister and the Governor. Professor Gangadhar said the meeting decided that Manipur University was most apt to hold the event. It even suited the theme of the Science Congress this time, reaching the unreached. A team of the association is expected to visit Manipur University on December 29 and 30 to assess its preparedness. External Affairs Minister Susma Suarez today hit out at Pakistan for humiliating the family of Kubushan Jadav during their meeting with him in Islamabad. Making a statement in the Rajya Sabha on the meeting between Jadav and his wife and mother, which took place on Monday, Suarez said, despite the clear understanding between the two countries, Pakistan allowed its, allowed its media to throw questions on the family members of Jadav. The minister criticized the neighboring country for not allowing the family members to speak in their mother tongue. Swaraj said that she was informed that the wife of Jadav was forced to remove her bindi and mangal sutra before the meeting. Also, the family members were forced to change their clothes on the pretext of security by Pakistan. The minister came down heavily on Pakistan on not returning the shoes of the wife of Jadav and said, Now Islamabad is leveling baseless allegations that there was something in her shoes. Swaraj said the family members told told her that Jadav was under tension. Jadav, an Indian national, is in custody of Pakistan over alleged espionage charges for the last 22 months. Law Minister Ravi Shankar Prasad introduced a triple talaq bill in Lok Sabha today. This comes months after the Supreme Court struck down the Muslim practice of instant divorce. Prasad tables the triple talaq bill or the Muslim Women Protection of Rights on Marriage Bill 2017 that criminalizes the practice of instant triple talaq among Muslims in the lower house, calling it a historic day amid opposition to its introduction by members of different parties including RJD, AI, MIM, BJD and all India Muslim League. The minister said the law is about justice and respect for women and is not about any religion or community, adding that the practice of instant uh, triple talaq has continued despite the Supreme Court's order terming it void. The BJP had issued a whip in the lower house asking all of its members to be present today and tomorrow to ensure the smooth sailing of the bill. The mega final of the 14th Best of Amik, a song competition organized by Apunba Manipur Matam Ishe Kanglub Amik to choose the most authentic and traditional Manipuri modern song, will be held at Lamyanba Shanglen tomorrow. Addressing media persons at Amik office in Janmashtan, General Secretary of Amik M. Dhananjoy said 12 competitors from Imphal East, Imphal West, Bishnupur, and Thaubal district are taking part in the state level competition. The competitors will present fog and petrol songs. He said the competition aims at promoting traditional songs and also to instill patriotism in the people as well as the singers. Hi Riva, competition is the Tongan Tongan Bad District Tagi preliminary round Toroga Kangalakwa competitor singna. Koi ke hiyenge mega final se bang thok jagada bani competitor singna folk ka tasta hoy sahi ma patriotic theme da based hoy sahi ani sakpi gani Manipur ke lehau sikha chasa na ba indigenous music da based hoy ba indigenous tune da based hoy ba tum mesha sing sahan bagal hoy na na masha gisu amasum praja praja dasu ani makta koi ke sense of patriotism do adu ma phone ba. Lunar-lunar na isai dasu apa-apa saya seluruhnya mau hendak adu gitu. Pangkok sebenarnya. 
Sri Sri Govindaji Nad Sankritan in a press release said uh, a team of seven artists of Sri Sri Govindaji Nad Sankritan Wankai Palace Kampan will leave tomorrow to perform Rhythm Divine 2 in collaboration with uh, Indian contemporary dancer Mumbai and choreographer Padma Sri awardee Asta Debu at the 25th anniversary of the International Arts Festival to be held at Santiago, the capital of Chile from January 3. Manipuri feature film Manja Nangbu, which is the sixth production of Iraba Picture Productions with Impact TV as media partner, was launched at Lamphel Sanaketel Community Hall today. Chairman of Film Forum Manipur S. Mangol Jao and President of All Manipur Filmmaker and Producer Association Ketrimayam Kishore Kumar were present at the event. Manja Nangbu is a romantic thriller written, produced, and directed by M. Ipu. Nikki Nong Thang Anbi, Toiba, Romeo, Jugindro, Mangol Jao, and Loken are in the film. News Lucky FC Sabalekai and SIYWO FC Mongsangai have entered the quarterfinals of the first state level. 5A side uh, open soccer tournaments. In the first league match of the soccer tournament played this morning, Lucky FC Sabalekai dropped uh, Telo FC 3 0. For the winners, Azmir Chisti, Sakib, and Deepak netted one goal each in the 16th, 19th, and 38th minutes of the match. While in the second league match, SIYWO FC Mongshangai bet legend FC Kongpal Ketrilekai 1-0. The winning goal for SIYWO FC Mongshangai was scored by Kenson in the 12th minute of the match. Altogether, 20 football teams are participating in the tournament organized by the youth of Parampat Ketrilekai Development Committee under the sponsorship of Chingjum Laija at Kongpal Student Club Playground. The first and the second quarterfinal matches will be played on December 29. The 9th state level M. Ravi Chandra Memorial Football Tournament kicked off at Kyamgai Ideal High School today. In the first league match of the tournament, organized by M. Ravi Chandra Memorial Trust Kyamgai Makhalekai, LT Fidinga Trust MPTC Pangai 6 2. For the winners, Ketrimayum Inau netted two goals in the 22nd and 39th minute, while N. Lemba, H. Napoleon, N. G. Naucha, and H. Newton scored one goal each in the 32nd, 43rd, 47th, and additional 52nd minutes of the match. The two goals for MPTC Pangai were scored by Kiran in the 40th and 60, I beg your pardon, 46th minutes of the match. MLS TH Satyabrata, H. Dingo, K. Robindro, and L. Rameshwar attended the opening event of the tournament. 23 teams are taking part in the tournament. Two league matches will be played tomorrow. ไอ้ลีบาไคโรเลกไกกีซิลิงาวซุนนะซุบุมบามาตอรกะดีพารอยดราไฮเวตะกีมากีอะดุกุมบาซังซินนามายังกีซัพพอร์ตพังดะนะ
Players and officials from Manipur who will participate in national and international Himalayan Yoga Olympia to be held in Bengaluru left Imphal yesterday. The event will be held at SVYAS Prasanti Kutiram in Bengaluru from January 1 to 3 next year. Junior and senior boys and girls, elderly men and women of Yoga Training and Research Center Manipur will take part in the tournament. All Manipur Atya Patya Association in a press release said the final selection from men and women senior teams to participate in the 32nd men and 28th women senior Atya Patya National Championship to be held from January 12 to 14 next year at Shirdi Maharashtra will be held on December 31st at Lema Pokwam Association Ground at 7 in the morning. Kyamgai Youth Pioneer Club in a press release said the 12th Kagemba Football Trophy 2018 will kick off from January 10. The last uh, date for submission of form is January 10. Aizol FC defeated Minerva Punjab FC 2-1 in a match of the ongoing I-League tournament at Rajiv Gandhi Stadium Aizol yesterday. For the winners, Karim Omolaja and Andrea Lonescu netted one goal each in the 72nd and 85th minutes of the match. The lone goal for Minerva Punjab FC was netted by Gary Koshla in the 90 plus 5 minutes of the match. In another match played at Salt Lake Stadium, Kolkata, is Bengal beat Gokulam Kerala 1-0. The winning lone goal was scored by Mohammad Rafiq in the 44th minute. Mohan Bagan and Indian Arrows will meet at Mohan Bagan Ground, Kolkata at 2 p.m. tomorrow. Chennaiyan FC will meet Jamshedpur in another fixture of the 4th Indian Super League at 2017-18 football tournament today. The match will be played at JRD Tata Sports Complex Jamshedpur at 8 tonight. It may be mentioned that Chennaiyan FC is at the top in the league with 13 points, while Jamshedpur is at the 6th on the table with 9 points. Now... <clears throat> Now before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again. CSO representatives met Prime Minister Modi on framework agreement in New Delhi this morning. Deputy Chief Minister Joy Kumar describes Impulse Service project as a failed project. Minister Jayanta Kumar lays the foundation for Manipur University of Culture at Wakha at Nongmai Ching Foothills. MPCC celebrates 132nd Foundation Day of Congress Party. Former Chief Minister Bobby Azad's Congress won India's freedom. And the four staff of Revenue Department, including an SDC, suspended. Minister Karam Sham warns employees who work against people's interests. 